Hi guys, um, I'm apologizing for not having made a video in so long. I've been really busy with school and my exams and stuff like that. So my apologies, but I'm back now, even though I have exams in a week. So this video, we're going to be discussing objects. Now, this is probably the crux of Java programming and Java, as we all know, is an object oriented programming language. So, I mean, objects kind of make up everything that there is in Java. And you don't know how important this topic is in terms of developing as a computer programmer. And I hope I can do justice to the topic with a good explanation, a good enough explanation. Now, we all know what classes are, what objects are. I've told you that in the introductory videos. If you don't, then please go watch it. Watch my first video on introduction to Java and you'll get that. But now understanding on a grassroots level or a ground level, what an object is, it is an instance of a class. That's, that's the definition for theoretical purposes. But what you really mean by an instance of a class? Now, when I say I have three car objects where car is a class, let's say car is a class and I have three objects here. Let's say, um, one is an object of, mm, let me think, let's say Ferrari and we have, let's say Dodge. Yeah, I'm not really a, too much of a car fanatic, so don't mind if I can't come up with good names. And the last one, let's say, call it BMW. Now these three car objects fundamentally all are of this type car but they all can differ in their properties now a ferrari can have let's say and i'm sorry if i'm not accurate here um ferrari can have let's say a max speed of 300 kilometers per hour or whatever miles per hour and a dodge let's say can i don't know maybe 280 and a BMW maybe less than that like 200 and I don't know if these are feasible values I'm not really a car expert sorry so yeah but basically a Ferrari can have a different max speed value from then let's say a BMW but they both are of type car so they both are cars but they are different in their own little aspects now in an object okay it's the variables variables the instance variables and I'll come to instance variables instance variables are basically variables that are defined in the class whose scope is throughout the class and I'll explain that to you don't worry about it but instance uh, an object has variables and it has methods now in an objects variables correspond to the object state and methods correspond to its behavior okay I'm out of space there but yeah behavior now let me illustrate this point I'm gonna try and hit this point home now as I showed you in the max speed example the state of the Ferrari, which is, let's say, its maximum speed, that is determined by a max speed variable, let's say a variable called int max speed. But the behavior of the Ferrari, behavior, let's say, of a car, okay, a car has behavior, behavior like, let's say, accelerate, that changes the behavior of a car break things like this are all controlled by its method so you can have a separate method to break a separate one for accelerate and these methods can work on those instance variables like let's say for example i'm giving you a general idea of an accelerate method maybe you can visualize this i hope you can now um, 
let's say you have an accelerate method defined in your class let me just drop this off don't mind uh, okay so if you have an accelerate method defined in your class say something like public void Excel. I'm, I'm not writing the whole thing don't mind here you can check if current speed is less than the max speed so these methods are essentially working on that instance variable which was max speed and I'll explain to you what instance variables are it's a concept pretty simple but I'll do that I'll leave that to another video but my point here is that a method defines the behavior of an object and a variable rather an instance variable defines its state and the illustration I wanted to make with the three different max speeds is that every object is independent of its class in the sense that a, Ferra a car object called Ferrari and mind you when I say object what I actually mean is a reference variable now all this might be getting a little confusing for you but please bear with me in a few videos you will get what I'm trying to say it will make a lot more sense to you and then you will genuinely once it makes sense you you will be able to appreciate it much better now what I mean by um, when I say the word hold on when I say instance and when I say an object basically objects all objects are reference variables reference so when I create a car object oops sorry about that when I have a car object what I'm doing is basically I'm creating this box let's say it's called C car C and I write new is equal to new car now this C oops hold on this C out here is a variable reference variable and what C is doing is basically C is referring to an object new car basically so when I say a car object C or car object Ferrari what I mean is a reference variable which references this thing called this is the object and this is the variable referencing it so when I say an object is just a way of saying something that references it something that references an object anyway I am running out of time for this video I don't want to make it too long but I hope you got the gist of basically state behavior the difference the attributes how methods and variables are different and I know it's confusing but stay with me trust me I will try my best to make you understand this concept and once you do you will be able to well program much better so that's it for this video guys and see you have a good day and don't forget subscribe